Yo, what's up guys? My name is Afan. This is Forza Central and today we're going to be looking at this beautiful Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio 2021 and uh, we're going to be looking at this in this beautiful bright red launch spec with the uh, white wheels. So let's see. In the engine bay we have a Ferrari Derive 2.9 liter V6 versus 505 horsepower and 439 pound-feet of torque so now that we've uh, looked at that let's let's uh, look at this uh, front end it looks very nice I really like uh, the, the lights and everything the grill is fabulous I, I love it uh, it's like nothing on the road no car will ever look the same as an Alfa Romeo and you have functional hood vents and on the side you can see there's a four leaf clover that's a heritage thing that Alfa Romeo does um, they, they usually put that on their really old race cars in the 30s and 40s and uh, that, that used to signify you know luck and everything and now they have done it on this quadrifoglio version which is the top of the line most sporty and uh, it has everything at a cost of eighty thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, Canadian? Uh, no, not Canadian, American dollars. So, uh, let's look at the rear. The rear looks fantastic. I love the rear lights. Very uh, smart, but yet sporty. I do like uh, you know the way the whole rear is shaped and everything. The trunk space is amazing. It's the same trunk space as a GLC six to three SAMG and uh, which is it's an actual like competitor in the Macan Sport Edition so it, it has some pretty good competitors and I think this car is uh, better than all of them personally now let's look at these uh, interior very good steering wheel very big paddles I have to say but it's very Italian too so yeah we have we have some BMW stuff if, if you've seen you know a typical BMW interior, whether it's YouTube or in person, you would know that uh, they invented basically the uh, infotainment system for having all that. So let's let's hear it. So in game, it has a pretty bad sound. Now in real life, it's really really good. There's pops and crackles everywhere. I think it's the loudest out for a while. Julia Quadrifoglio uh, it isn't. As loud as this one, which is weird. You you think it's all around, but, but yeah, you can see you know, steering wheels are perfect. You know, the gripness it's very good. Uh, it's not too big. It's not too small. Not too thick. Not too thin. It's the perfect size. Uh, you you can also tell that there's the red button. That's also Ferrari derived, and it's because Alfa Romeo is in the same um, company chain that you could say. Uh, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, and Ferrari FCA also because they were Chrysler. Now uh, you can see that you have you know your control for the uh, infotainment system, and you can also uh, adjust the suspension and the drive mode, which is called DNA. And they're all of them are in Italian, and I don't remember any of them, um, but uh, I know that D is Dynamica uh, and is Neutrali. And A is a Tiva. So, yeah, there you go. That's as far as I know. Um, the rear is fantastic. Headroom, legroom, you're very high off the ground. But at the same time, the headroom isn't the best. Um, it's okay if you're six foot. But if you're like six foot four, you're, you're going to be cramped. Kind of like F pace, but not really. Because F pace is uh, much worse. But um, yeah, so this com this competes with a lot of very good, very reputable cars, such as the Velar SVR. It compares with the uh, F Pace SVR. Compares with the uh, GLC 63S, not the coupe version, the normal, and the uh, Macan Sport Edition, which is one of the best handling SUVs in the world. Uh, Actually, I think this car is much better handling as I will show you. So this car has A, the best exhaust I've ever seen, very good looking. Second of all, the best suspension setup 
ever. I don't know how, I don't know what they're doing, but the suspension on this car is fantastic. And the grip, as I will show you, if once there's enough more after, but now, driving, there's a little bit of ice, and the car feels like it's not, like, it's not even sliding. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't feel any different. Now, there is a little bit of understeer, because it's must be. You know, try not to crash, but you know, not. Uh, the, the interior is fantastic. Paddles look not amazing. Feel very good, very you responsive. You have arrived at your destination. Already very loud. I mean, okay, well, it is snow, and it doesn't just look like snow. We're going to ignore it. Uh, interior view perspective. Now this car weighs 4,313 pounds. Oh, that's, that's pretty good for, for an SUV of this size. I mean, it is very competitive to you know the other You have arrived at your destination. So they can pop some crackles. There's a lot of torque at the higher RPM and very, very balanced. There's no drama, it's all flat. It's not a lot of un un under, it's not too much understeer. There's understeer, but there isn't too much. Like, it's usable, you could say. Uh, now, oversteer is a bit weird. At your destination. Uh, it's, it's a little weird because the oversteer. I mean, oversteer is this car, it kind of like drifts you back. It's like, it like doesn't drift like that. It's kind of like drifts you back. It's really weird, so I would love this car. Um, and you can do that in real life. It comes optional with air, um, air, air ride, I believe. Um, and you can really like that. And that you can use it. I love the track. I wish in the game they did a better job at the nice six town because I really love it sound beautiful. And like I said, it's a, it's a Ferrari derived V6. Now, you're asking yourself, Ferrari never made a V6 upon what are you talking The only other car they made was a V8. And I say this, yes, but what Alfa Romeo did is that they took the V8 and they just took out two times. So it's still it, and that's why people call it a Ferrari derived V6. Now there is a rumor that Ferrari is making a 2.9 liter V6. I wonder from who? Alfa Romeo maybe? Yes. So, in the near future you will see a V6 F8 Tributo maybe. So, yeah. But, this concludes the video. I hope you guys had an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And uh, I hope you guys, uh, you know, leave a like, comment below, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.